Hey guys, this is Nate here. I want to share this word with you that has been on my heart since last night, I guess. Um, I went to sleep last night. We arrived into Australia yesterday morning and feeling com completely wrecked after uh, almost a month in, in the States. It was an incredible, incredible time. Um, Christy and I are going to be sharing a lot more about our time in the States um, over the next week or so. Um, but I just have a word uh, for you guys now. So um, if, you, if you're watching, hi, good, good to see you. It's been a while. It's good to be back in Australia though. Nice warm weather. Uh, we're slowly adjusting. Today's been, um, I've been going, going from feeling um, completely productive and, and, um, and feeling inspired to suddenly feeling really tired. So yeah, jet lag is, is definitely still there. So good to see you guys. It was it's so incredible meeting so many people while we're in the States. Um, uh, so many people we didn't get to meet that we wanted to, but there was still a lot of people that we got to see. It was really good. Um, I'm going to share with you guys today, though, what's on my heart. I, I I go to sleep at night, and as you guys know, if you read any of our words, like um, we dream a lot, and um, I guess God even uses jet lag sleeping because last night before I went to bed, I said, Lord, you know, um, what what is the word? You know, like um, what is something that is fresh on your heart that you want me to speak or share right now? Hey, Kathy, good to see you. Um, and I, I went to sleep and I in the middle of the night I had about four or five prophetic dreams it was, it was crazy what was going on last night but I kept hearing this scripture over and over and it was Hosea 11 11 and um, if you've heard any of our story talking about Christy and I talking about transition I know I know um, 11 11 and 11 1 means a lot of different things and and you can apply it to many different things but for Christy and I it's really been a season uh, it's really been one of those numbers of, of awakening and uh, end of transition and so um, I've shared about transition probably a bazillion times but I feel like this is something fresh in this that I need to release and it's going to really help a lot of people I want it to be really practical and uh, and release this because I, I've been I've been sensing that a lot of people even is still in transition have um, there's a lot of people uh, in probably the last two weeks even that we've bumped into um, and and I've, I've heard this word it's almost like the Lord saying settle your heart you know what I mean like in transition you feel like you've been uprooted and uh, when God is moving you on and so there's been this word that's commanded me of like God saying settle your heart it's okay you know like coming to his place of rest and it's okay to rest it's okay to to really um, allow him to really breathe fresh into you and and when you get into this place of trying to orchestrate things it, you know um, it can be difficult because God's wanting you to do something out of a place of rest or see something from a different way so I want to share this with you guys right now um, so Hosea 11 11 if you've already looked it up it's an amazing scripture I've never read it before and I get a lot of scriptures like this all the time where I've never read one and then God will show me one in a dream and then and I will look it up and I'll be blown away. So this is what he spoke to me today. Um, feel free to share this, whatever you want to do. Um, I hope this speaks to you. I want to pray for some people at the end of it. So Hosea 11, 11 says this, okay? It's very simple. It's amazing. All right. They will come from Egypt, trembling like sparrows, and from Assyria, fluttering like doves. And I will settle them in their homes, declares the Lord. So I wake up this morning and I read this. And um, straight away, my, my I know exactly what the Lord's speaking to me about. He's speaking to me about how, um, number one, he's highlighting two different areas that he's bringing us um, from transition, uh, you know, through transition from into our promise from, but he's also speaking about settling us and all this whole area of, of settling and establishing the people of God that have felt unsettled and that have felt like they've been almost wandering like nomads for a period of time. And it really spoke to Christy and I because we're in a season of transition, um, quite literally, and that is that we're moving to the United States. And so there's been this real season for us of really, um, you know, just just being honest, there's been a season of really wrestling what's in the natural. I mean, you know, it, it takes a huge amount of provision to do something like that. It takes a huge amount of faith. There's a lot of time that's caught up in visas and different things like that. And, you know, it, you can easily feel unsettled. You can easily feel like, well, this is a lot of work. You know, like, hey, God, is, are you going to come through for this, you know? And, um, it was a really, um, it was a word, I guess, that spoke to me even this morning of like coming straight back from America, coming to Australia, knowing that we really belong there. And God saying, settle your heart that, you know, that he's going to, he's going to bring everything into, into its right place. And so I want to speak that into your life now, but I want to break this scripture down. So Hosea 11, 11, the first thing it says here is this, it says they will come from Egypt trembling like sparrows. Now trembling, obviously that means, you know, being in a place of, um, uh, agitated, in fear, unsettled, all those kinds of things. Uh, and a bird, 
okay like a sparrow small and insignificant it says from egypt they'll come from egypt so what does egypt represent egypt represents slavery egypt represents a mindset where you are owned by somebody you're under the control of something else so i believe that god is prophetically speaking in that about he's bringing the body of christ from a place of slavery he's bringing us from a place of being limited that we uh, there's only so so far we can go it's coming from a, it's coming out of a master and servant mindset into a son and daughter mindset so prophetically Prophetically, this is this scripture and transition is incredible because it's speaking about the body of Christ coming out of that mentality and out of that old one skin thing that we're we're only servants and slaves and he is the master. He's saying you're coming out of that place where you're trembling in fear, and it's more coming to that place where it talks about in um, Hebrews, it's talking about that we're no longer um, you know we're no longer subject to fear, but we cry Abba Father, and so we're coming to this place of relationship with the Lord. And the next scripture part of the scripture says, um, and they'll come from Assyria, fluttering like doves. Now, it's interesting because Assyria, I looked up what it means. And Assyria actually means man's ways or man's way of thinking. I'll quickly read what it says in Isaiah 11 about um, Assyria. It's incredible. Really, really incredible. It says, when the Lord is finished, oh, here we go. I'll punish the king of Assyria for the willful pride of his heart and the haughty look in his eyes. For he says, by the strength of my hand, I have done this. And by my wisdom, because I have understanding. And it, so the Lord is speaking about when he, when I read Assyria in that scripture in Hosea, I, I really believe the Lord's saying that he's taking those that have been in a place where they feel self-made, where they feel like that they've been in their own strength, where the church has done things in their own strength. They've been trying to do things in a way that is without the Lord, without the Holy Spirit. He's taking us out of that. And he's also taking us out of a place where we're limited by our own thinking, our own wisdom and our own ways. And so I apply that to my own life where I feel like, you know, I've been doing things in my own strength. And the Lord's saying he's bringing us from transition, through this transition out of a place where we've been doing things that's in limitation. We've been doing things in a place that is limited. It doesn't have the wisdom of God as much on it as this new season we're moving into. He's taking us from a place of of life and he's taking us into a, place, into a place of abundance. So that's what I read about that. And it says, we'll come fluttering like doves. And when I think about doves, I straight away think about the dove that was released, the dove that was released at the end of the 40 days, and oh, 40 nights, no, it was actually before that, when Noah released that dove to go spy if there was any, if there was any um, land. And that dove brought back the twig, right? And so I think about doves in the Old Testament. I think about doves as the pioneers. They're the ones that go and they look and find the new fresh thing that God is doing. God is, he's right now birthing the pioneers out of transition they're the ones that are going to have eyes to see they're going to be able to see the fresh thing that God's doing before anyone else and so I believe that we're coming out of a place of our own thinking being transformed through intimacy with the Lord into a place where we can be the pioneers that actually they can really see what the Holy Spirit's doing and move in that direction and then with the last part of the scripture it says this and I love it and it says and I'll make them or it says in uh, uh, it says that basically I'll move them into their own home. Says declares the Lord, I'll make them inhabit permanently their houses. Bayith, which means you're in, it means your dwelling place where God establishes you and settles you, and it is a sign, a prophetic sign of your inheritance. So right now God is saying you're coming out of slavery, you're coming out of old mindsets, you're coming out of things that limited you, and God has called you to be a pioneer that flies and soars. And soars in the sky, in the place in the heavenlies where you can perceive the things that he's doing. So you're going to be ones that can see the fresh thing that God's doing. And he's going to establish you. I believe this scripture, and I believe even just what I'm prophesying over you has many angles to it. But I want to prophesy these three things. That God is saying that you're coming out of slavery. I prophesy you're coming out of old mindsets. You're coming out of old things that limited you. You're coming out of limitation. You're coming out of where you couldn't quite see the full picture before. You're coming into a new place of revelation. Being able to see the fresh thing that God's doing in your life. God says, you know what, I think also about doves, I think about doves, I think about Song of Solomon's where God talks about, about us as his doves. And you know, you think about those who do things in their own strengths, they're, they're the ones that God sees as his lovers, but they just don't know it yet. So I believe that those who don't even have a love relationship with the Lord are coming into intimacy in this season. Those who feel self-made, they're the ones that are self-promoters, they love tooting their own horn, all that kind of stuff. It's okay, God knows what he's doing with them. He's simply turning them into, into those that can be... Um, 
Um, he's turning them to those that love him the most. He's going to turn them into those that broadcast his name. I believe that God's taking us out of old thinking and old ways that have limited the body of Christ and he's transforming us. And what is he doing? He's wanting us to inhabit the earth. He's bringing us into our inheritance, not just our own physical homes, but even in the spirit. We're going to inhabit. We're going to reign in new places that we haven't reigned before. There's an authority that's being released. So guys, if you've been feeling the unsettling in this season, I feel, I feel like I need to prophesy over you. There is a settling coming. I feel felt so strongly this morning to prophesy there is a settling coming and I even see physical homes coming to people who felt like that they, they haven't even had a home I feel like the Lord is leading people to new regions they even just like you yeah, I'm like Christy and I that there is a settling coming where God is leading you to a new region and a new place where God is connecting you with new family the God is surrounding you with the community and the people you need God is connecting you to new spiritual fathers and mothers who can really bring out who you really are I believe this is the season that God is leading you to your home and he's going to establish you and this is what I feel like the Lord is doing he is turning the fearful into the fearless he's turning the loveless into the most the ones with the most passion He's turning the, the houseless and the homeless into the established. It's what he's doing in you right now. And I just pray, I just release over you. If you've been feeling the unsettling, you've been feeling like, you know, this, this season of transition is going on too long. How many more words do we have to have over transition? I really feel the Lord is just bringing a settling to your heart. I command all fear to go right now in the name of Jesus. We command fear to be removed in the name of Jesus. This is from people who've been feeling the weight of that fear. They've been feeling like even just those, those old thoughts, those old slavery mindsets beginning to creep back, those old places of doubt and insecurity and fear that you know that you once used to live in when you were living the, in that in that Egyptian mindset you're living in that pl new place you're moving into a new season and you're going to find your place says the Lord and I also just want to pray so are you there guys I just cut out for a minute so I just want to pray healthy hearts over people healthy hearts over people right now in Jesus name healthy hearts over people that is where that you're not lacking any good thing and that your heart is healthy and there's no there's no contempt there's nothing that's going to stifle or squash the, the purposes of God upon your life. You're coming into your fresh season. You're coming into your home. You're coming to a place of being settled and established and where God is pouring out that fresh new thing in you. I just prophesy and declare it over you in the name of of Jesus. Well, guys, over the next week, and I, uh, Christy and I are going to be sharing some really cool things about our trip, um, and so I can't wait to share that with you. If you're in Brisbane, we're going to be at the Prophetic Australian Prophetic Summit next week, and that'll be going on for about four days, I think. It's going to be incredible. But um, we can't wait just to share what God did in the United States. It was, it was incredible. Um, so if you're subscribed on our list, you'll get that over the next day. We're going to be sharing little bits and pieces over the week. But I just really, just really sensing so strongly that the Lord's bringing, um, he's bringing just people out of fear that have been feeling like they've been wandering for too long. Just he's bringing a stability to people. He's bringing a settling to your heart. Like you're going to, even before you move into that place, you're going to, you're going to tangibly feel it in your hands. You're going to see a sign of what the Lord has been doing in your season of wandering, in your season of transition. I just bless that with you guys right now in in Jesus mighty name well guys bless you um, we're gonna get over our jet lag and um, get back into the swing of life back here in Australia and um, we'll release some emails and share what God did over in the States and uh, we can't hope it blesses you we also got some amazing things that God's spoken us to do for the year 2018 so we'll be sharing a whole bunch of amazing new resources and and, and teaching equipping that God's really put on our hearts to do but um, we can't wait to see you around the place bless you guys bye